United Nations says more than 900,000 people have left the Ukraine, and that number is just going to continue to grow. But for those who can't leave or won't leave, their families here are left worrying and wondering how they can help. WBZ's Beth Germano is live for us in Jamaica Plain tonight. And Beth, I know you found a man who is taking up a collection of protective clothing that could save lives. Well, he is part of a Ukrainian volunteer network working to get supplies to forces in the battlefield. They operate here at this Ukrainian church in Jamaica Plain, but his days are spent networking and emotional conversations with his family back in his homeland. A very emotional call from Myron Kravchuk's mother, hearing sirens daily and worrying for the future. And our president is uh, doing everything he, he can. He's the best, and he's uh, doing everything right. Here in Boston, Kravchuk spends his waking hours on the phone, locating needed supplies, and working with a large volunteer network to set up a supply chain. Uh, helmets uh, and bulletproof vests, they have the license from the state, so... Uh, it's already approved. When he's not working, he's worrying about his parents in the western part of Ukraine and the future of his homeland. I'm worried a lot, but no one knows what will happen. But Ukrainian army is like we, we're super happy we have such heroes. How worried are you for their safety? I'm sick. I cannot sleep. I can't even I can't even drink coffee because I have panic attacks. These are pictures of the basement bunker Nadia Lubchenko's cousins have set up in their home in the southern port city of Odessa. It's where they flee, hearing the sirens daily and wait. Right now they have like uh, several warships uh, around our port. So the possibility is really um, serious that they will at least try to invade the city, yes. She says they won't leave and worries they are underestimating the danger. It's like, sorry, I couldn't call you back. I could not charge my phone because there was no electricity. Or sorry, there was sirens. I had to go down to the basement. Myron Kravchuk's mother only says her city is preparing, and he is making sure they have help. And all whole world, I think, once seeing how Ukrainian army is fighting, they are inspired. But we need a lot of, we need actions. And it is the question Ukrainians here are asking every day, how can we help? They say they are tired and heartbroken, but it can't compare to what their loved ones are experiencing back home. Reporting live from Jamaica Plain, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.